Hi friends, my name is Kathy. Welcome to Church at Home. I have a question for you. What's the most powerful thing you can think of? Tell me what it is. Maybe a bulldozer or a train or even a lion. Those are all super powerful things. But guess what? I know someone who's more powerful than all those things and anything, Jesus. That's why our big idea says we worship Jesus who is powerful. Are you ready to say that? Repeat after me. We worship Jesus who is powerful. Great job, everyone. Jesus is the most powerful. The Bible calls him the King of Kings. That means he's the most powerful king ever. So we're going to sing the song called King Jesus. Friends, stand on up and let's sing the song together. This song is called King Jesus. It is about how we can worship our King who is Jesus. We can do that by the words that we sing and the way that we move our bodies. So as we sing this out, I want you to worship our King. Are you ready? Here we go. I'll raise my hands in worship. I'll use my mouth to sing. And with my whole heart. Sing out, Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, you're filled with power. Jesus, you're filled with power. As you say. As you say, come to me. And with my whole heart. And with my whole heart. Sing out, Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe. All right, let's sing praise. that out again. Praise, praise, praise to the King, my King, Jesus. I think I'll follow. I'll follow, I'll depend. You're my comfort, you're my friend. Let's sing out praise. out for me for me you died on the cross then rose then rose for all to see you have my whole heart you have my whole heart sing out Jesus I believe Jesus I believe let's sing you are with God you are with God in heaven but you're still close to me you have my whole heart. You have my whole heart. Jesus, I believe. In Jesus, I believe. All right, let's sing out praise. Praise, praise, praise to the King, my King, Jesus. Sing it out again. Praise, praise, praise to the King, my King, Jesus. Sing out fall. Comfort. You're my comfort, you're my friend. Let's sing out praise. praise. 
That was so much fun singing together. That song said, Jesus, you're filled with power. Jesus is the most powerful. And I know that because of stories we read in this book right here. Do you know what this book is? It's the Bible, God's special book for us. It's a book that tells us stories about real people and places from a long time ago. This story tells us all about a time when the disciples, the followers of Jesus, were on a boat and a big storm came. Pay close attention and let's see what happens when Jesus shows the disciples how powerful he is. We better put on our thinking caps and our listening ears on and let's watch our Bible story together. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. And as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Wow, that was a big, big storm. But what was more powerful, the storm or Jesus? Jesus was. Jesus is more powerful than any storm or anything else ever. The powerful Jesus that calmed the storm is the same Jesus that is with us today. We can worship Jesus because he is powerful. There's a verse in the Bible that tells us how mighty God is. But oh no, it's all covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop them so we can see our Bible verse? Let's pop the bubbles together. Okay, everybody. It's bubble popping time! A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them out of sight. Keep going! Yay! We're almost there. We got the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready? Go! One, two, three. Keep going. That's a bubble. That's a bubble. That's a bubble. That's a bubble. Oh, too many bees! <laughs> pop them over here. Pop them over there. Pop them on the ground and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere! Yay! Good job popping the bubbles, everyone. And look, we can see our Bible verse now. It says, great is our Lord. His power is mighty. There's no limit to his understanding. Psalm 147, five. This Bible verse reminds us that God is great and powerful. He knows everything about us and will always love us. When we worship him, we show God how much we love him too. Hey, I know something we can do to help us remember these words from the Bible. Sing them! So friends, stand on up and let's sing and dance to Psalm 147.5 together. 
We're gonna sing out Psalm 147.5. This Bible verse says, great is our Lord, his power is mighty. There is no limit to his understanding. So as we sing this out, I want you guys to get really loud. Do you think you could do that? Here we go. Great is our Lord, his power is mighty. Did you hear that part in the verse that said, God is great and mighty? Jesus is mighty and powerful. That's one of the many reasons why we worship Him. Now, I know some friends who can help us learn more about today's big idea and how to worship Jesus. Their names are Izzy and Jim. So friends, put on those listening ears and those thinking caps because it's time for Praise Party with Izzy and Jim. Hi friends, I'm Jim. And I'm Izzy and this is Praise party. party! Are you ready to have a party with us? I am! We are going to praise our king in this party. Who is our king? Jesus. Jesus is our great king. And we get to praise and worship him. Yay! I want to do that! Where can I go with Jesus on the worship? Could we sail to an island or to the North Pole? No, worship isn't a kind of boat that we can take a trip with Jesus on. Though, that does sound fun. Worship is how we show God we love Him. We can do that with all that we are. That means with what we say with our voices, do with our bodies, or think with our minds. Oh, wow, that sounds fun. But why do we worship Jesus? We worship Jesus for so many reasons. He deserves our praise. He is our great God. One of the reasons I worship Jesus is because Jesus is powerful. Our big idea today is we worship Jesus who is powerful. Can you all repeat that after me? We worship Jesus. We worship Jesus. Who is powerful. Who is powerful. Good job. What are some things you think of that are powerful? Tell us what they are on three. One, two, three. An excavator! Whoa, those are a lot of powerful things. But guess what? What? Jesus is more powerful than all those things. He is even more powerful than a big, massive storm. What? Are you sure? How do you know that? Because there's a story in the Bible about it. Jesus and his disciples were on a boat and a big storm came. But Jesus stopped the storm by saying, quiet, be still. Oh, wow. Jesus is really powerful if he can do that. Yes, Jesus is God and he has God's big and strong power. I worship Jesus because he is the most powerful. The Bible says he is the king of all kings. He is the greatest, biggest, strongest king of all. How can I worship such a strong, powerful Jesus? We can use our words to talk to Jesus and to tell him what we love about him. Or we can use our minds to think about how big and powerful 
powerful Jesus is. Can we dance and clap for him like with our biggest and loudest dance and claps? Yes, let's do that right now. I have a song that's also kind of a game about Jesus calming the storm. Yay, can we play? Yes, friends, play with us too. For the first part of this song, we are going to pretend that we are sleeping just like Jesus was asleep when the storm came. Then we are going to yell, wake up Jesus! And we'll all jump around and say, shh, wind and waves, be still, still, still. Ready to try? Yes! Okay, let's pretend to sleep. The boat a rocking in the stormy sea. Shall we wake Jesus laying fast asleep? Waves so high, hear a cry. He is strong. Everyone, y'all wake up, Jesus, and get up. Wake, wake up, up, Jesus! Jesus. Now jump! When and waves be still, still, still When and waves be still, still, still When and waves be still, still, still Still, still, all is calm Everyone, sit back down Ah, I like it! Can we do it one more time? Sure! Friends, let's do it again and worship Jesus as we do, because He is powerful. Here we go. See the boat a rocking in the stormy sea. Shall we wake Jesus laying fast asleep? With so Jesus and jump when and waves be still 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 when and waves be still 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 when and waves be still 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 all is calm that is a fun song and it reminds me of how powerful and strong Jesus is he is Believing that Jesus is big and powerful is a great way to worship Him with our minds. Friends, remember our big idea. We worship Jesus who is powerful. Jesus loves you and He is good. Yay! Now it's time for our praise party dance party! Let's dance for Jesus! One, two, three, four! to our praise party and keep the praise party going every day by worshiping Jesus. Bye! Bye. Wow, we learned lots of ways that we can praise and worship King Jesus. I love the song we sang with Izzy and Jim about Jesus calming the storm. I think I'm going to sing the song a few more times today and worship Jesus. We can praise and worship anytime to show Jesus how much we love Him. Let's spend time talking to Jesus right now by praying together. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, put them together, and it's time for prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. We want to praise and worship you in our minds, with our bodies and our voices. You are mighty and powerful. We love you, Jesus, so much. Amen. Great job, friends. Before we go, I have one more question. Do you remember what our big idea is? Let's say it together one more time. One two, three. We worship Jesus who is powerful. You did it. I've had so much fun with you learning from the Bible together. We'll see you next time. Bye.